What's going on guys, JT with a quick run of the Team Corrali Kronos off-road. Uh, weather's been crazy here, and I'm running on 4S. 6S is a lot for this truck, y'all. Y'all see this thing has got plenty, plenty of power on 4S. Guess on my uh, Super Speed Saturday, I might do it on a Sunday, I think it was. Um, I got 50 miles per hour on this thing out the box on 4S. <laughs> so that was that was that was good. I mean, that's to me more than enough power to take this thing off road. And I want to take it to some other areas pretty soon. But I can say the electronics they put in this thing are good. I mean, they are. They've pretty good servo on here. Uh, it's not too fast, not too slow. So, of course, almost no servo can be too fast unless you're doing something different with it. But I kind of want to get this out here and run it in this area. And I should have bought the ramp, but... Didn't have time, and it's you guys know it recently snowed here, and then the weather's just been raining afterwards, and it's just been kind of crazy. But I, mean, I also kind of want to drive my on road cars a little bit as well. And I still haven't changed any of the diffle or anything in here, so So you guys know, of course, I got this from Tiny Adventures RC. So I'll put a link in the description. They gave me a promo code to share with you guys to get a couple of bucks off of this. I think it's 20 to $25 off, which y'all know every dollar helps. And it's free shipping. So, And they actually have all four of these in stock. Plus, they have the 10 scale versions too. So I'll probably look at getting one of the 10 scale ones real soon. I'll probably go for one of the brushless ones or something. I'm... Not 100% sure, I gotta look up a couple more things on those and see kind of what Team Corrali's offering and stuff. But overall, it's running good. I think it needs right now some more thicker oil in the differential. Let's see, this thing is just a bully monster. These stock tires are getting heck of grip out here. <laughs> Getting so much grip and the blue tires, uh, the balloons, the tires are ballooning so much that it's eating into the body. You guys can hear that. That's that little noise you hear. I should have put my uh, GPS on this wing so what kind of speed we getting off road with this on 4S. But I think 4S to me. For this truck is plenty. I mean, most trucks to go 50, you have to go 6S with them. And this has definitely got the power. Now, I did see that they are going to be releasing some upgraded parts for this. Um, carbon fiber chassis braces, or aluminum chassis braces, and etc., etc. So I'm not sure when that stuff will be available, but I'll definitely be getting it. Are getting at least some of the components to put on here. I just stepped on something that was nice and soft as mud. I just looked down. <laughs> I did not want to step on a doggy land landmine out here. I'll run my car through it. Y'all know how that is. Y'all run off road like this and you bring your car back and you're like, what is that? And it is not mud. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I will be trying to look at some of the updated parts with this truck because uh, this is kind of their their first stab at a, at a basher series of eight scale cars. And I've seen several videos on the internet with um, cars having uh, durability issues and stuff like that. Are they broken stuff doing certain things? And I think that some, some of the upgraded parts will help out with it. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to be probably doing a full 
upgrade video on this as well. I'm gonna have to take this to a couple areas and get some jumps and stuff in, get the ramp out, etc., etc., things like that. <laughs> But I will give it to them with the power in the electronics. I mean, the feel of the radio from driving and stuff feels good with it. It doesn't feel um, like it's lagging or anything, so that's good. And of course, the system's been running good. I still haven't checked the temperatures yet because it hasn't been too warm outside. It's about 50 degrees or so, 48 to 50 degrees. So not the best temperature check. Especially we're just running on 4S, it's going to be better when it gets a little bit warmer and we run it on 6S, especially running off-road. To check some of the temperatures and stuff of it, but definitely going to need a couple of updates to it, like putting some oil in that center dip. I haven't even checked to see if there's oil in there or grease, but it's definitely going to need some because you guys see the way the tires are ballooning there with it. And actually, some people like that. I thought that was kind of funny. Not in a bad way, but I think it's, uh, I forgot his name. I think it's No Computing, or No Computer, or No Computing Tires. Um, he's got a video out there, and he talks about, he likes the ballooning of the tires. <laughs> so, you know, which is fine. Like I said, it's not bad. It does take away from some of the power and some of just the drivability of the car when the tires are ballooning like that. I've seen a lot worse though. Um, so, but I definitely be putting some thicker oil in. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here just yet. I might actually do some 70 to 100K in the center diff and 50, 60 in the rear, we'll see. 30, 40 in the rear, 50, 60 in the front, I don't know, we'll see. I'll have some uh, video updates on this, especially when I start looking at some of the updated parts that they have available for this and the cost for some of them. This definitely has the power. It definitely does. So, And I believe Tiny Ventures RC also has um, the electronics available as well. And for those of you guys who don't know, um, Team Corrali also makes, I found out that they make um, batteries and stuff as well. So um, I believe, I just hit LVC, I didn't charge my battery all the way up. Ah, um, <laughs> I believe that um, he's got several of that stuff on his site. And this thing is a mess. Look at that. Ah, grass everywhere. Um, but I believe he has several things on his site as well um, as far as electronic stuff for sale. Because electronics are good in this thing. I mean, the Motor Nia C has been, has been performing well thus far from my driving of it so of course i'll be doing more videos stuff like that but anyway guys uh put your comments down below i'll have some more videos of this up and running i thought i charged my battery uh, a little bit more than that, but we got about seven minutes of runtime in so that's pretty good so i'll definitely have some more videos of this coming up and then i'll also get the ramp out and stuff as well and do some jumping with it so don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching